Greetings. Today, we'll address one of the most often requested questions on Blender, how to rig a bird. In order to demonstrate how to do it, I will use the rooster model. The procedures utilized in this work are the same for whatever sort of bird you choose to rig. If you want, you can leave a comment below asking how I made the feathers, hair, and anything else around the body, and I'll make another tutorial. Okay, so let's rig this rooster or chicken. I used this identical model to make the video you just watched. However, the size of the heads differs. I'll demonstrate how, after rigging, I enlarged the head. We must first bring the bird rig from the Auto Rig Pro in order to begin. The size can then be adjusted if necessary. Once you exit the edit mode, you can make the bird larger if you so choose or scale back the rig's size. You can decide. Let me therefore raise the mesh size for myself. We must edit every bone and move it to its proper location. So first, let's put everything to its place. Then, since it has symmetry, anything we change on one will be replicated on the following one. We must simply manipulate everything. Okay. By default, Auto Rig Pro doesn't bring you a tail control. In order for you to control these feathers, you need to add tail control and put it back and move it around to its place. And also Auto Rig Pro, by default, doesn't bring you anything to regulate the wattle, which is the other issue we need to be aware of. I believe you refer to it in English as a wattle, am I correct? But you can also apply your own form of control. To do that let's add bendy bones to the limb option. But the control has only one side so we have to duplicate and create two side for the wattle. To do that select single bone and go to limb option and change the side from middle to one side left or right. Then when you move out of this option you can duplicate mirror it. Then you would have two symmetry bones. Therefore, it will be simpler for such tasks. The final step is to match the rig after finishing everything and placing every bone in its proper place. You get controls for the bones once we match the rig. Everything you need to govern the body is at your disposal. But when it comes to drawing shapes, Auto Rig Pro is poor. That way, you may modify it whenever you want. But wait before editing any shapes. Switch to object mode, select the body, and the controls, then go to skin tap, heat map is undoubtedly useful for these kind of rigs. Then bind it, after that you would have the full control of the body. But the rig's construction is poor. Although there are a few weight related adjustments that need to be made, but getting to such setups in 2 minutes is incredible. However, when you look at the fit, it just has one control for everything and doesn't have control for the other toes. To fix this, choose the leg controller, navigate to the limb menu, then pick the toes control for its thumb, middle, and pinky controls. Then, click, OK. The second item symmetry fails when it comes to limb option. You simply need to move to both sides and produce what you require. Then place each bone in its proper position. The middle, index, and pinky fingers are present. The control leg can then be performed. We merely need to go back and match the rig after everything is in its proper location to get the new control. As you can see, the toes now have new controls. Then we must rebind it completely. Simply go to post mode, choose the body and controls as before, choose the controls, select the skin tab, and bind everything. Shape is another aspect of auto rig that I hate. As I already stated, when every time you try to construct a shape, it will simply decide what it believes is the appropriate shape and create it, leading to odd shapes that are larger or smaller than the mesh. But believe me when I say that it rarely brings the right one. Therefore, you only need to manually edit it. Go ahead and choose the ship you want to alter, then select the rig tab, edit shape, and customize the shape as desired.
Look, because the eye is not rigged with the body, it does not move with the rig when I rotate it. You simply need to go to the constraint panel, add a constraint, then link it to the rig to accomplish it. Finding a method to fold a wing is the last thing we need to do. When I accessed the Auto Rig Pros menu, I discovered a note. I never imagined there would be options that were so much simpler. And allow me to demonstrate how I did it. Right, let's start by creating a new action called Rig Wings Fold. Make sure the spelling is accurate and that the name is written appropriately. Next, we must build keyframes for the keyframe arm. We must generate two keyframes after the Mingor action building the rig, and creating rig wings fold. On keyframe 0 is the first one. The original position would then be at that location. And on frame 10, we need to set up our position in the manner in which we want the fold to appear. So all I have to do is use the keys to make the fold exactly as we want it and then create a keyframe. I will therefore have two keyframes, both the first and the second. On the first one, nothing is folded because it is on the resting post. However, I'm going to fold it on both the left and right sides of frame number 10. After that I only need to select the edit reference points option under the limp option then I will then choose and click the arm bone and select a limb. Then fold the controller when you see this button, add wings. Then all I have to do is enable it and click OK. After that, I have to start over and match the rig. The next step is for me to separate the rig's wing action from the rig. The folding stance that we performed will then automatically be registered on the newly introduced controller, the add wing fault controller. Having an easier method of folding a wing would make scaling this easy each time. Everything we performed during that position would be recorded by this and kept. And every time we attempt to scale, we can only control it by scaling. Position rotation is ineffective. So we can have a fold wing every time we try to scale. I'm hoping you get it. Following that, everything is simple. Simply select your weight from the weight selections, and the chicken is ready to go. I'm grateful. That must have been useful. Just leave a comment below with the kind of thing you would like me to make. Please assist me out by subscribing and liking a video because I'm kind of new to this. I'm certain I'd produce a ton of sophisticated tutorials. I've seen a ton of beginner level lessons on YouTube, but I couldn't find any intermediate or advanced ones, therefore I'm confident that I could fill that need by writing intermediate and advanced tutorials for Blender. Simply subscribe and like the video to support me. Post a comment below. Just leave a remark if you have any questions or concerns.